In this lab, you will learn how to pack a silica gel column, as well as using TLC plates to combine like fractions. You will use the micro scale kit for this setup. A picture of the proper setup is in your lab binder. Make sure to fit the stop cock tightly into the bottom of your column. Fill the column approximately two thirds full with dry silica gel powder. Empty this into a beaker and add solvent to make a slushy like mixture. Pour this mixture back into the column and drain off the solvent without letting the gel be exposed to air. You can use more solvent to rinse the beaker and make sure all of the resin gets into the column. This is called packing a column. Next, use the dry method procedure to load your sample onto your packed column. Do this by dissolving your unknown in a small amount of acetone. Mix this with a small scoop of dry silica gel and dry completely with nitrogen. Remember to evaporate with nitrogen gently, or you will lose your unknown. Scrape this out of your beaker and add it to the top of your packed column. Once you have loaded your unknown onto the top of the column, begin to add your chosen solvent mixture. Do not allow the top of the gel to run dry, meaning do not expose it to air. Always keep it covered with solvent. Begin collecting fractions of your elutant in test tubes. Each should fill a small test tube about 3 quarters of an inch. Use the TLC test to determine which fractions contain which unknowns. Run three fractions on a plate and continue collecting fractions until dots no longer appear under the UV lamp. Once unknown stops coming off the column, combine like fractions, meaning in separate containers, put all the fractions with the top spot together and all the fractions with the bottom spot together. Do not include the fractions that have both unknowns in it. Then. Use the rotary evaporator to dry your unknowns. Make sure to gather the percent recovery, IR, melting point, and NMR data on both unknowns. When you finish the lab, dispose of your used silica gel in the silica gel waste container located in the waste hood. First, take the stopcock off of the bottom of your column, then use nitrogen to push the silica gel out of the tube straight into the waste container. Then cap the waste container and wash your column with acetone.